Hey guys, this is Rich Brian, and this is how you make the perfect steak. Today we have the ribeye steak. It looks like a choice grade. I would prefer usually more marbling than this. I got some kosher salt so you can, you know, season the steak pretty generously. And it's like a pretty thick cut, so just make sure you, you get this shit tasting good. So fun fact about the ribeye steak, this is the eye and this right here is called the ribeye cap. That's like the best part of a ribeye steak. And if you season it and then you wait 30 minutes, that's even better because what the salt is gonna do is tenderize the steak. And you gotta make sure that you get this garlic powder in there too. Garlic powder is my favorite shit to put on a steak because who doesn't love garlic? If you don't like garlic, I don't fucking like you, so. I'm gonna heat up my pan. And what I have here is some olive oil. Usually my rule of thumb is if the oil starts kind of smoking a little bit, that's like the perfect time for you to put your steak in because if it starts smoking, it's definitely gonna sizzle and you need that sizzle. All right, let's fucking do this. You fucking hear that? That is beautiful. That is beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. You wait for like two to four minutes and then flip it. And then when we flip it, we're gonna put the butter in. I'm gonna check and see uh, if we have enough crust right now. Okay, so, got that crust in there. And then now I'm gonna flip it over. I like medium rare. I think medium rare is the best way to eat a steak. I know a couple people that eat steaks well done while well, using them because when they told me that they like their steaks well done, I stopped being friends with them. I think it's time to put the butter in, so. Put a whole leaf of rosemary and uh, just take a couple cloves of garlic and I just crush it, just like that. Put this near the butter, so you just gotta you gotta base the steak with it. As we do this, we can also start to flip the steak around and make sure that we get the crust on all sides. So, so as you can see, on that side, it's very well crusted. But you wanna make sure that every side of the steak has a nice sear to it. Yeah. This makes me very happy, and this is why I do this. And I recommend that you do it too, so. It's beautiful. I'm gonna take the steak out. And I'm gonna let the steak rest. The reason why you wanna let your steak rest is because when meat gets cooked, it tenses up and it just becomes kind of tough. And when you let it rest, you're kind of letting the meat just kind of chill out a little bit. And it's gonna release like all these juices. What you're seeing is not blood. It's actually called myoglobin and it's a type of protein. So we can wait like five, 10 minutes to uh, let the steak rest. All right, so uh, that's how I cook my steaks. Well, it looks amazing. Thank I'd you. love to try it out. All right. So this moment of truth, let's cut this open. Oh, okay. That looks think, pretty good. Uh, that, yeah, yeah, it's like, it's, like a little, yeah, it's like medium rare. How is it? That's a good steak. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you like it. Mm. It's got a nice sear. Yeah. Very crisp on the outside. All right. Soft, juicy, tender on the inside. Perfect. Well okay. seasoned. Thank you. Do you see that this is what happens when you cook with love, ladies and gentlemen? Garlicky, buttery. Holy shit. That was good. You did <laughs> yeah. good. That was good. You did good. Thank you. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty happy about this. You're proud of yourself. Yeah. You should be. Yeah. So um, yeah, let's let's leave the rest. I um, my royal tasters will be coming in shortly. The royal tasters. Yeah, the people that taste my food.